So we're joined by Praham Maksudu. Praham, uh, you've just drawn your last round game against Magnus Carlsen, but it looked like you were even pressing maybe. Yes. Uh, can you tell us what happened? Okay, I was uh, very happy that he uh, decided to play this uh, cold spot uh, position because uh, I have very good uh, results in cold spot and I know a lot of ideas and I somehow feel this position very well. Uh, and uh, he went for some night e8, which was weird for me, but I remember uh, last night my friend uh, Tawa Tawa told me that he was playing this night e8 in a World Rapid and Blitz, but I didn't prepare at all. I thought, okay, if I get cards, but anyway, I'm fine. So uh, at some moment I was really pressing. Uh, it was very really logical for me to put the rook on a on e1 and play knight f4, f3, e4. Uh, Okay, he also played very well. Uh, at some moment, I was forced to play g3, and I think here he could uh, make draw uh, somehow. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, I'm not sure, but uh, what I what I understood uh, from the position, it was just draw. Uh, after g3, I think he could play g5, uh, knight h5, queen take f3, bishop e2, queen f5, bishop d3, queen f3, and I think it was perpetual. What uh, G5 is very weird move. Uh, somehow you can not even understand that you can take on F3 in this position because everything is uh, well placed for white. So he didn't think about it, but uh, what he played was extremely strange for me because uh, also after the game he told uh, that he completely missed E take D5, which was the uh, obvious move for me and I think for anyone else. So uh, I think he missed this move and I got a very good chance to win. But uh, I felt that for the team, uh, my draw is fine, so I just played for the team and I thought, okay, next time if I get Magnus in some individual tournament, I will risk. So <laughs> this, I think this was not a good time for, to risk. But uh, in the position uh, that he blundered CD5, as a CD5, uh, knight d6, I think here if I play d6 and uh, sacrifice this piece, I'm much better. I felt like it's like plus one, plus two, but okay, it was uh, not possible to risk here. And also I was 20 minutes down in the clock, so okay, I felt I'll uh, go to a safe position and okay, without risk. And uh, he mentioned a very beautiful uh, move uh, after, uh, after knight c5, knight b5. Here he mentioned bishop c4. I saw it, but uh, I didn't see uh, b take a3, knight f4. And here I thought, okay, he can play knight d4, and it's very bad for me. But after knight d4, I have bishop f7. So I think I didn't see it. Uh, he just he was just very good in this, so I missed it. Uh, and what I played was, I think, just about to equal. Yeah. And uh, okay, it was uh, one very nice thing he also mentioned that after uh, bishop c4, here is possible to play uh, b a3, knight f4. Uh, and knight d6, bishop a6, bishop a6, knight a6, rook b2. He sacrificed a piece and he has some compensation with a3 pawn. But I never think about this position, so I just made draw. <laughs> well, as you said, it didn't make much sense today to risk because of the team position. Uh, so let's talk about the team, your team, uh, Clichy, the French team. You are fighting still for the top places, maybe yes. first, maybe second, yes. depending uh, on how it goes. How do you think the match is looking against Lofer I think uh, the match uh, was looking great when I decided to make a draw because I think uh, in all boards uh, we have uh, we had uh, risk-free positions which which they could play till ever. Okay, only last board uh, I think Trego is, is just a draw, uh, but other boards I think uh, okay uh, they are very good position and okay if one of them win it's enough for us. So I think uh, we are doing good and I hope. We can get uh, first or second. Uh, yeah, this, uh, and okay, I was happy with my uh, performance anyway because I just uh, lost one game uh, against Emre, but it was all preparations and I couldn't do anything uh, over the board, so I'm not upset because of that game. And if I, I, I know that if I get some normal position, I can beat everyone. And finally, Parham, uh, the tournament is over now. Uh, how did you enjoy your time here in Meyerhofen? It was a very nice place uh, and I'm sure that I will uh, 
uh, have some training camp here later because I enjoyed the atmosphere, I enjoyed the uh, mountains, weather, everything was perfect and and it is very small uh, I think village or city but anyway there are not so much crowd and everything is very good here. Well we're glad you enjoyed it, congratulations on a, a great performance and uh, good luck with Thank what's you. next. All right.